Hi and welcome to FiddlerMan.com. Today I'd like to show you how to train your fingers to be as flexible as possible to get the absolute smoothest bow changes. Now the first step in getting smooth bow changes and having flexibility in your fingers is to hold the bow the right way. So let me show you how you should be holding the bow. You should have your fingers together, not spread out, because if they're spread out, you won't be very flexible in your fingers. So if they're together like that, you have more flexibility, right? The other thing is that you need to have that pinky on top to support the weight of the bow. So this is basically what you're gonna be doing when you're working on flexi finger flexibility. And I'm trying to develop the hair on a paintbrush effect right here. Now, the other thing you need to think about is that your right elbow kind of leads the hand one direction and it starts going in the other way before the hairs or before the fingers even flex. It's, a, it's an after effect. In the same way, the hair on a brush is gonna follow behind the brush. It'll come afterwards. Now, what you need to do when you practice this is to first start practicing with a lot of pressure. That will give you the friction so that you can get the timing right. You'll feel that the, the bow will be sticking to the strings as you're changing in the other direction. So really exaggerate in the beginning. So that you feel the bow actually sticking to the string. And then the other thing is that you really don't have to have the violin in your hand to practice this movement. You can do it with a pencil, you can do it when you're reading the newspaper, watching the news at work or at school. And this is really good exercise. Once you get the feeling, it'll happen by itself. You won't have to work on it. And this is an exaggeration. It's nothing you do when you're playing soft in any case. It's, it, later on when it comes by itself, it's a slight movement, but it's enough that it, it will enable you to camouflage that bow change. So this is your lesson on how to smooth out your bow changes. Thank you for visiting Fiddlerman.